As we transition to our new awards gala format, I'd like to also make sure we honor the members and industry patrons that have contributed to ISSA and the community that we have lost over this past year. It is important for us to honor those that have come before us and paved the way for future leaders of our profession. We continue to honor those lost to us over the previous year at each awards gala event. To begin, I'd like to recognize and honor in memoriam Philip Griffin, ISSA fellow and rally chapter member passed away suddenly and unexpectedly on October 31st, 2020 at the age of 70. During his many years as member of the ISSA, he served on various boards and committees, including the ISSA Education Advisory Council, excuse me, the ISSA Journal Advisory Board and the ISSA International Web Conference Committee. From 2014 until the time of his death, Phil worked at Wells Fargo Bank, where he held the position of Vice President and EISA Systems Architect. Wells Fargo honored him with the Tesla Award for innovation in 2016, and he was inducted into the Wells Fargo Inventor Hall of Fame in 2018. ISSA's founding president, Sandra Lambert remembered Phil as one of the kindest, funniest, and smartest people she has ever known, recalling many fond memories of their time spent together working on cybersecurity standards. Philip will be sorely missed by so many and began as a colleague but evolved as lifelong friends. Moving on, we have Dan Kaminsky, who hailed as the inventor savior, passed away on April 23rd, 2021, at the age of 42. He is well known for his discovery of a fundamental flaw in the fabric of the internet. He found a serious flaw in the internet's basic plumbing that could allow skilled coders to take over websites, siphon off bank credentials, and even shut down the internet. Mr. Kaminsky alerted the Department of Homeland Security, executives at Microsoft and Cisco and other internet security experts to the problem and helps spearhead a patch. Dan's many contributions will be remembered for generations to come. <laughs> Tom Lyons. Tom was a longtime legal counsel for the ISSA and board advisor. He passed away suddenly on December 21st, 2020. Tom served as legal counsel for the ISSA, guiding us through various legal issues, decisions that affected the ISSA organization and community. He was a dedicated individual and a personal friend. He will be missed by all who celebrated, uh, who collaborated with him. John, um, Millicent passed away on August 24th, 2020. He was a dear friend and an influential member of the Bay Area information security profession. John was the past president of the Silicon Valley ISSA chapter, as well as a member of the San Francisco ISSA chapter and many other professional organizations and was bestowed the designation of ISSA fellow in 2020. John was invested in making a positive impact into the lives of others, especially for our future generations. He was always willing on improve, working on improving the security community as well as improving his understanding of the world. According to those who knew him well, John had a quick and sharp wit that would make you laugh and sometimes question your sanity. John will be truly missed by his friends and colleagues who knew him to be dedicated, depended, dependable, and devoted, generous and kind, always willing to help, passionate and about enriching the future of our students. <laughs> Michael Stanton, president and treasurer of the Boise ISSA chapter, lost his battle against cancer on June 28, 2021, at the age of 69. 
Michael is known to all who have crossed through the doors of the ISSA over the past decade and longer. He was a faithful rock of service and dedication to the community, one of the pillars of support to all of us over the years. Michael received a Boise ISSA Lifetime Leadership Award in the fall of 2020. Boise ISSA interviewed Michael at that time to ask about his years of service, his health and celebration of his years of service to the community. We recognize Michael as a patriot, faithful to his country, one to celebrate and give thanks for as we honor our patriots. We give him thanks for who you are in, our, in your service to all in Boise Valley and beyond. And of course, our next one is Philip Courteau, who many of us have um, either met or has known the influence he's had on our community. Philip was CEO and chairman of Qualys, who passed away on June 5th, 2021, at the ripe age of 76. He has been a longtime supporter of ISSA and um, many times speak, uh, keynote speaker but he was also an ongoing supporter of the ISSA Education Foundation. His support for ISSA was demonstrated through his company Qualys, sponsoring and participating in numerous events at both the international level and the chapter level. He was a continued supporter of the Cyber Executive Forum and was a keynote speaker on several different occasions. Qualys has uh, Qualys was an international and local chapter supporter for many years. Philippe was often a keynote and participant for ISSA Cyber Executive Forum. Starting in 2013, the chairman and CEO of Qualys continued his annual donation to the ISSA Education Foundation to fulfill his passion for cybersecurity education, which funded the ISSA Education Foundation Howard A. Schmidt Memorial Scholarship. In 2020, he was named ISSA Education Foundation's benefactor and the foundation's highest award. In recognition of Philippe's enormous generosity, the foundation will offer a special one-time scholarship in his memory for 2022. We appreciate any donations in his memory which can be made to the foundation website, issaef.org slash donate. Further details of the scholarship will be announced in the future communications. The foundation board and scholarship awardees are forever grateful for his generosity. Philippe was a great and treasured friend of both organizations. <laughs> Don Parker. Pioneer of information security industry passed away on September 18th, 2021 at the ripe age of 91. Remembering Dawn Parker, identified in 1999 by the Information Security Magazine as one of the top five information security pioneers, our community mourns his passing at the age of 91 this past September. Don began his relationship with ISSA in the mid 80s as a member of the San Francisco chapter. Among his many accomplishments, in 1986, he founded the International Information Integrity Institute, otherwise known as I4. As an SRI uh, confidential advisory service to collect and exchange information and distribute it in large uh, international enterprises. As a testament to his forthright, I4 still exists today and is now owned by KPMG. Don was recognized frequently throughout his distinguished career by ISSA, the first time in 1992 by receiving ISSA's Outstanding Individual Achievement Award. Followed next in 20, uh, 2000 um, by his induction in its Hall of Fame, and, and finally in 20, bleh, 20 10, um, he became one of the first ISSA Distinguished Fellows. Dawn was published many times in the ISSA Journal, including a 500-word column for the journal called Dawn's Corner, uh, starting in 2014 and running for 18 months. 
Don wrote an ISSA uh, article in 2018 laying out 120 of his security maximums with the caveat, for every maximum, there is an exception. Security awareness is less than, uh, less than useless without the first achieving motivation. It is a folly to think good security is nothing when bad happens, and when nothing bad happens, who needs security? Security is universally hated, and we all hate the constraints of security in our work. One of his favorite expressions of humor in his quote was on 85.6, the expert's number. He would say to you, you can become an instant expert just by using the number 85.6. The following is a tongue-in-cheek rendition of one of Don's funny uh, creations on the expert's number. You can become an instant expert, establish a fact, and settle any argument by using the special number for any occasion. I have done considerable research to create 85.4 and can assure you that it works exceedingly well. This established after he was tired of answering questions on how big much cybercrime is there in the, um, and he would answer, I don't know. One day he just answered 85.6%. When asked 85.6, he responded, 85.6% is the whatever you want it to be answer. So therefore, 85.6 of all business crime, thousands of cases per year, percentage for more than the last year, percentage of trusted, uh, not more than trusted. Uh, so with that, just use the number <laughs> whenever you need it in an article, and it will satisfy your editor and make you an instant expert, establish a fact, and settle any argument. There, that seemed to satisfy some of them and cause others uh, to laugh or become outraged, as a matter of fact, when uh, they caught on to his deception. But for several years, I could still read my standard answer of 85.4 printed in all well-known newspapers. Anybody can become an instant expert, just use 85.4. So we thank you all, uh, we thank you Dawn for all you have taught us and all that you have contributed over the lifetime. May we always remember 85.4.